I'm Jamie, and in this video, I'll take you through the steps of configuring a simple point-to-point -point bridge. For this demonstration, I'll be bridging a home internet connection to a remote area. To create a transparent bridge, you will need two devices similar to the NanoStation Loco M2s that I'm using for this demonstration. I've labeled them as Nano A and Nano B. You'll also need cables to supply power over Ethernet from your adapter to the radios. Make sure that you've also chosen good locations to mount your equipment for a clear line of sight. Beginning with Nano A, connect the PoE injector to a power source. Run an Ethernet cable from the PoE port on the adapter to the radio. Then, using another Ethernet cable, connect the computer to the LAN port of the adapter. In order to configure the controller to talk to Nano A, open your computer's network control settings and assign a static IP of 192.168.1.50. With a subnet mask of 255.255.255.0. After saving these settings, open the browser and navigate to 192.168.1.20. This will bring you to the AeroOS page for Nano A. The default username and password for all Ubiquity devices is UBNT. Once logged in, click on the Wireless tab. Set the wireless mode to access point WDS. Leave Auto unchecked. Next, enter a unique SSID that identifies your bridge. To look for the cleanest channel on which to broadcast, run the AirView utility, located under the Tools menu. Upon running AirView, the upper channels appear least polluted. Now set the radio to broadcast on the clearest channel. Under Wireless Security, select WPA2 AES with PSK for authentication. Enter a pre-shared key. Click Change. Before selecting Apply, click on the Network tab. Leave the network mode as Bridge. Set Nano A's IP to 192.168.1.159 with a subnet mask of 255.255.255.0. Set the gateway IP to 192.168.1.1. Click Change. Before selecting Apply, click on the Ubiquity tab. Make sure that AirMax is enabled. For long distance links, you may need to enable No ACK mode. When using a 40 MHz channel width, use No ACK if the link is more than 17 km. And for 20 MHz channel widths, use No ACK if the link is over 25 km. Click Change and now Apply. The access point is ready to be deployed. Now, connect Nano B to the PoE injector. Leave the computer with the same IP settings that were used when configuring Nano A. Within your browser, navigate to 192.168.1.20. This brings up the AeroS page for Nano B. Log in using the default username and password, UBNT. Once logged in, click on the Wireless tab. Set the wireless mode to Station WDS. Next to SSID, click Select to perform a site survey. Select Nano A's SSID and lock to the AP. Under Wireless Security, enter the same settings that we assigned to Nano A, WPA2 AES with PSK for authentication, and the pre-shared key used with Nano A. Click Change. Before hitting Apply, click on the Network tab. Leave the network mode as Bridge. Set the IP to 192.168.1.160 with a subnet mask of 255.255.255.0. Set the gateway IP to 192.168.1.1. Click Change and select Apply. The station is ready to be deployed. Once both radios are deployed and the antennas have been properly aligned, the point-to-point -point bridge is complete. Visit the AP and Station AeroS pages to examine the performance of your link. Thank you for watching this video.